Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Kyle and today we're going to show you how to tape a tubeless mountain bike rim. Tubeless setups are extremely popular for their ability to resist pinch flats and also improve ride quality. But one of the most important steps in getting a tubeless setup that's hassle free is taping the rim properly. So we're going to walk you through that process step by step. We're going to be taping a stands flow wheel, which has a 30 millimeter internal rim width. So the goal is to match the width of the tape you're using to the internal width of the rim. And if you are going to use something like Gorilla Tape, you're going to tear the tape down to the size you need. Other materials we're going to need are a pair of scissors to cut the rim tape, something sharp like a pick, some isopropyl alcohol to clean up the rim, a clean rag to help with that, a hair dryer or a heat gun, and finally your valve for when you're all done so we can get this wheel ready to run. We're going to be using the Stan's rim tape to tape this wheel now. I used this for about five years on every single one of my bikes when I was racing a lot of enduro. And while I feel like it sets up the tires really well, it works great on the installation process and it actually gives the tire a little bit less chance of burping because it's a bit thicker. I started to run into hassle when I would basically pop the bead and it would pull some of the tape with it and then I'd have trouble with it sealing after that or the sealant get into my spokes and it corroded the spoke nipples. I ended up doing many more tape jobs using Gorilla Tape. While this tape, the actual tubeless tape that a lot of the companies design, what I found is that once you set this up right, you can basically leave it on indefinitely. The only time you need to change it is if you have to replace a spoke or anything like that. So for me, I'll tape the rim once with this and it'll last literally one to two years easily. And if I tape with this, I'm basically changing it out every three or four tire changes at most. With that being said, let's get into the actual process of how to install it. If you follow the steps for this, it will work for Gorilla Tape. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First thing we're gonna do is clean the rim really good. You wanna make sure that it's clean so that this will stick. You're never really gonna get everything completely gone. The biggest thing you wanna look out for is any big chunks of adhesive or anything weird in the bead that's gonna keep the rim tape up slightly. I think we're getting pretty close here. A lot of the big stuff is gone. Just make sure you kinda get all the big chunks out. So here's my valve hole and I'm gonna basically start one spoke hole, two spoke holes past. What you really want to do is get one of the edges set. I feel like sometimes when you press down in the center of the rim tape, it can actually pull it away from the edge. So I just like to get the edges set. And once I get that set, then it's time to start pulling tension and working your way around the wheel. Pull the tape tight, you can kind of hear it stretching. So that's loose tape. It has a little bit of give to it and it's designed that way. And then as I do this, I'm going to try to align the tape side to side in the rim. So there's my overlap. I put my tape two spokes past the valve. So one spoke, two spoke valve is right here. And then I'm gonna go one spoke, two spoke past as well. So I'm gonna finish here. So, so pull tight. Boom, now we're gonna go ahead and cut it. A lot of people will cut it at an angle or straight across, it doesn't really matter. I think it's just a little easier to cut at an angle sometimes like that. So there you go. Nice smooth tape job. There's no wrinkles anywhere. This is looking really good. Okay, I'm really stoked on how that turned out. One thing you may have noticed when we were kind of having that other angle is that the tape isn't pressed all the way down into the channel of the rim yet. And so it's basically setting right here on this high part and then there's tension across so it's not all the way down. We're gonna heat it up, it'll stretch down into the bead channel and then we should have a great perfect seal. I did two or three revolutions, kind of slow just to heat up the tape. You don't wanna get it scorching hot, you just want it to be nice and elastic. You can see it's starting to set down flush in there. And if you have any air bubbles, it's not a big deal because what's gonna happen is when you air this up and it's under about 40 PSI, it's gonna naturally kind of push out any other little bubbles that you have going on. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the valve. What I know a lot of people will do is they'll just take the valve and try to shove it through. What that can do is it can actually shatter the tape. Even with a pick, you can still shatter the tape because it's under so much tension. So what I like to do is I'll, I'll use the heat gun again to heat up the pick a little bit, and then I'm gonna poke a small hole going through it. I got my pick nice and warm. What I like to do is I actually like to press through from this side, just so that I locate it properly, get a little bit of a poke hole, and then you can kind of go from the other side nice small split there. And then once you have that split, you just wanna make sure it's big enough for the tip of the valve to get through. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the valve. So. Cool, there you go. As soon as you put the tire on for the first time and air it up, 
it's gonna press out a lot of these bubbles. Um, so I personally don't spend the extra time to like make it perfectly flush because next time you pull your tire off, you're gonna see it looks great and just looks really professional that way. So you can kind of take the heat gun again and push some of the air bubbles out through the spoke holes if you want. Um, but that's just up to you. Like I said, the air pressure can do that job for you as well. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a tire on this and then we can call it a day. All right, we successfully taped a rim. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some tips and tricks that might help you out along the way. Like I said, I highly recommend investing in some of the actual rim tape. It seems to just last so much longer and it's a lot less of a hassle. If you have any questions or comments or if you think there's anything I kind of missed or overlooked, throw them in the comment section below and I'd be happy to try to get to them in there or even make another follow-up video. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Until then, I hope you have fun riding and we'll see you guys next time.